Welcome to the final What to Watch for of the 2023-2024 season and watch for the 49ers to expose the Kansas City Chiefs on Super Bowl Sunday, number 58. And it's going to be great, oh yeah! Kyle, none of that tricky shit. Don't get fancy. Dallas football. We gonna run them. 80 style beat down. No tricky shit, Kyle. And even if you do, I believe in Brock Purdy like never before. And I know CMC ain't gonna take it. CMC is going to demand the football. We been scared for nothing, faithful. Cause the Chiefs ain't got nothing we ain't seen before. Let's do this, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Dames and Caballeros, 49 faithful in Las Vegas, San Francisco, and throughout the multiverse, welcome to Gary Lamb, main event, morning mania, live action, 49ers, first Chiefs, 58, I'm a macho man, and I'm going to break you off a game that makes you say, oh yeah, and oh yeah, I'm ready for the Super Bowl. And I got to admit, I was like everybody else, man. Not this damn Patrick Mahomes again. They beat us in the Super Bowl. They whipped our ass a couple years ago. But they ain't got nothing we ain't seen before. Outside of Patrick Mahomes. And we got Mini Mahomes and Brock Purdy. I said it. We gonna whip that ass. Let's just start on the offensive side of the ball. We're gonna start, we're gonna start on our our defense, their offense. Look at the strength of the of the, the Chiefs uh, line is is interior line, and we got Joe Thune. He's out. Joe Thune. He's out. Our left guard is out. Eric Armstead. Javon Hargrave, where you at? Get some damn sex. I don't, I don't need none of this damn five-man front. We don't need that bullshit. Because the whole damn year, we've been doing two things. Not giving up big plays. Thank you, Steve Wilkes. Except for that stupid play. All-out blitz against the Vikings. That was dumb. But we tried not to give up big plays. Good job. And with semi-containing running quarterbacks, that's exactly what we're going to do. And I don't, I, don't think, uh, I don't think Donovan Smith and Jawan Taylor, left and right guards respectfully, they ain't got nothing for Nick Bosa. This dude is ready. Nick Bosa is nothing if not honest. And he said it himself. Picking Ravens or uh, Chiefs. He wanted the Chiefs. He wanted them again. So did the 49ers. Nick Bosa says, we're a rush for team. They know they can get Mahomes. There's a referee controversy. But I think that's on the 49ers side. I think they want to make the Brock Purdy movie. I ain't heard a damn thing about Taylor Swift compared to the regular season. The NFL wants the 49ers because we're a bang bang not a gang, but none of us go to jail. We're bang bang not a gang between the lines. That's what you need in life. Handle business and stay out of jail. That's what America needs. America needs the 49ers and Brock Purdy and Troy Williams and Debo. Solid men. When the time is right, when the time is right to fight. But when it's time for the Super Bowl, get your ass in bed at night and get ready. And the Niners are ready. Brock Purdy is ready. Brock Purdy studying right now. Kyle Shanahan been studying for the last five hours. Don't get fancy, Kyle. You got it, bro. We got better players. The rush is going to come inside. Thune is out. Armstead or Gravedigger. Grave Diggers looked a little slow. Javon Hargrave, but I know he's had that hamstring. 
The, the whole time we've been waiting for the Chiefs. We haven't gone all out because we've been waiting for the Chiefs. I love Isaiah Pacheco. He's a good, strong runner, but he don't got enough wiggle. We're going we're gonna to rock his ass. Jair Brown might get a, the hit of his career. Rookie safety. Boom, shakalaka. Dre Greenlaw. That's one suspect. I would put Dre Greenlaw, if we're going to rush four, I would put Dre Greenlaw as a spy. Mahomes will be, his night will be miserable. Miserable. Would you want Dre Greenlaw after you? No. But they're not going to stop Nick Bosa and Randy Gregory, Chase Young. You're playing for your damn reputation. Let's go. You could, you could win your one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's the thing. One-on-one. -on -one. We're built to whip some ass against the Chiefs. They don't got nothing that we ain't seen before. Look, at, I'm looking at their team. Okay, you know what? Uh, the cornerbacks... Duffy, Duffy, and Duffy and Sneed, they're good players. Lejerry Leger Sneed is a good player, but man, J Zay Flowers was going wild. I'm just saying, one on one, do you really sweat them against Brandy Ayuk? Ayuk is on fire. Ayuk, Ayuk, Ayuk is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn, baby. And this is the main reason why I'm picking the 49ers. Everybody delivers every damn game. Whenever you need them, they deliver. Maybe minus Javon Hargrave last game. I think he came through and delivered um, being hurt. But th there's no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. R.I.P. Carl Weathers. There is no tomorrow. Actually, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. February 10th, 2024. Gary says the 49ers are going to run away with the score. The only thing that could help the Chiefs is if Kyle gets fancy like he did in the beginning of the game against Philadelphia. Where he wouldn't run left behind Trent Williams. But I believe if he does stupid shit like that, we have Brock to bail us out. And I believe CMC is not afraid of Kyle Shanahan. He, he's on, he's on, he was on pace for a 400 touches. He gets the ball. If the Niners forget the run, I guarantee you CMC... We'll make a big stink of it, and we're going to be okay. That's a good thing for us. The only thing they can stop Kyle is if he gets too damn fancy. None of that tricky shit, Kyle. None of that tricky shit. We're going to be all right. This 49er offense is going to, I mean, the, uh, the 49er defense is going to expose the offense of the Chiefs. They're not the same Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. Be like me, man. You, you want him running around, waiting for Dream, Dre Greenlaw to knock the shit out of him? You don't want that. You don't want none, Patrick. On a fast turf, Nick Bosa is on a mission. Hargrave, we got you for this reason. There's a weakness in their strength. Thune is out. He's out. Pectoral, he's out. That's it. It's fucking over. The pass rush inside, outside. They might run uh, two or three tight end sets, but we we don't we don't need to go for a bigger package because Kelsey don't block. He don't block. What the fuck? He don't block, man. You can guard him with your various ward. I think you should guard him with Ambry Thomas. Either way, you know Rasheed Rice is a good player. I like him. But I think either Demo Lenore or um, Javarius Ward can guard him. You can have um, Demo following uh, Rache Rice. And you can have um, Javarius Ward guarding Kelsey. And, and you're going to be okay. I'd rather have Ambry because Travis Kelsey's a hell of a player. I'd rather have Ambry Thomas. Uh, we, we can play nickel the whole fucking time. Pacheco's good, but they, they don't have the blockers to stop us. We don't, need, we don't need to do anything special, man. We can play in base, you know, our wide nine. We're going to stop them. We've gotten ran over before. We're going to be okay. 
But if we stick to the program and don't do nothing stupid, this defense is going to be fine. Man on man, we whipped their ass. They had an advantage up the middle. But I look at I, I I can't I can't believe it. No, Joe Tony's out. Their left guard is out. That was it. Their, their advantage is over. Hargrave and Armstead's got to wreak havoc up there, man. And I'm not disrespecting the tackles, but Bosa should kick ass. Chase Young, you got the talent. Let's go. Maybe Mahomes makes some plays with his legs, but he don't want none of that now. I like Isaiah Pacheco, but he don't, he don't got enough moves to get past us, bro. He's going to take a freaking hit. He, he stands up. He, he runs up upright. He's going to get knocked. He runs really hard. He might hurt us. We might hurt him. But I think man for man, we got him whooped. They might expose Ambry deep, but they do they have the receivers? Kelsey's going to get his. But... This is what I think. I don't think they're going to do this. I think they should they should play man and use Greenlaw as a spy on passing downs. And that, that'll solve the issue of running. And even if Mahomes does run, it's going to be in your head that if the pass rush is what it should be, if it is, what the hell are we paid to be? We will whip their ass. Our defensive line, the strength of our team for years, has not Freaking delivered all year, but now it's time. Eric Armstead, let's go. Javon Hargrave, paid your ass big time contract. Let's go. Nick Bosa, it is your day. If there's a defensive end that could possibly win an MVP, it could be you. The refs might be against you. You know, Nick Bosa versus the refs. I should have made a video. But I think the refs are going to be for the 49ers. They want to make the Brock Purdy movie. Maybe Nick writes a plant to pretend that there's hate against Brock. What are you hating on Brock for? I'm going to get to Brock for a minute. But I was watching highlight clips of him in high school. He looks the same. People still don't know that this guy could run. Let me get to my points on the defense. But he's the same. He's the same cat. What he really needed to do was mature and improve in the pocket. And I've said that before. I said that before. And he's doing it. And he's going to be ready. Kyle Shanahan, you're due for... Man, we're in Vegas. Kyle Shanahan. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. I have ambient ocean sound. It went you know, Cosby down. That ain't working now. I don't know what the hell I was going to say. But let's just get back to Bosa. And uh, Chase Young and Randy Gregory. Big time money to Eric Armstead. Big time money to, to uh, Javon Hargrave. Big, big, big box to Nick Bosa. We brought in Chase Young. Big time talent. It's time for you to freaking deliver, kid. Let's go. It's a Super Bowl. Randy Gregory. Reputation on the line. Get to that quarterback. Javon Kinlaw. You've been playing really well. You've been stout. If only we would just expected you from the beginning to be a stout run stopper, it would have been just fine. We start expecting this guy to be a, you know, a pass rusher. Just let him be a brute force. You need to stop the run. There's nothing wrong with stopping the run and being a power force up the middle. All right? That's nothing wrong with that. I, I think we got him. We got him in the trenches. Patrick Mahomes is great. Kelsey's great. But ain't nobody, ain't nobody can hang when you're getting your ass kicked. By, you know, guys like Nick Bosa and, and uh, Hargrave and, and Chase Young when he's interested. And Eric Armstead and Javon. I might have Von Kinlaw gets a free hit on, uh, on Mahomes or Dre Greenlaw. If he's running wild out there, that's scary. I'm going to whoop that ass.
They're going to play it safe, not get beat deep, and take down Rasheed Rice and Kelsey. Um, Jarek McKinney may play, ex-49er. Um, let's check on Jarek McKinnon. What the hell is he, what's he up to? Where are you, Jarek McKinnon? He's not, he's not even on the dang list. Here we go, Jarek McKinnon. I, oh, wait a minute, IR, but he could return. Any news on Jarek McKinnon? Jarek McKinnon is questionable. A growing injury. He could be a difference because he, you know, in the screen game, the, the 49ers are, are um, it's tough to get to a screen game, but you're going to rely on a player who's been injured. Uh, he might be a difference. McKin McKinnon could throw a r monkey wrench in us, but I'm, I'm not sweating it because we've got beaten by the screens before and tight ends, but we still win because our game has always been how do we stop Patrick Mahomes? That's what this defense is designed to do. That's why Nick Bosa didn't want all this pass rushing. We rushed for. That's why Fred Warner wanted uh, Steve Wilkes on the field because they want to call the plays. They know what's going to stop the Eagles. And if they come out with effort, they're going to kick ass. The only thing that could really stop them is if Patrick Mahomes breaks contain, makes long plays, and they're, they're out. They're, they're, they get too many offensive plays for the for the um, Kansas City Chiefs, and can they get tired? That's what happened against, really what's happened against the uh, Baltimore on Christmas Day. The Niners were containing the, the Ravens and um, Lamar Jackson until the, uh, late, in the sec late in the first half we got that big run because they were tired because of all the interceptions by Brock, all the turnovers. And you know you, you just you only have so much wind in you, no matter how many times you rotate. But I I just don't see that happening on Super Bowl Sunday. And if it does, I trust our offense to, to fight right through it. What else do I want to say about this defense? Yeah, I I wouldn't mind to see Traverius Ward and Ambry Thomas on Kelsey. If anyone. If you see Traverius Ward and Ambry Thomas on Kelsey and Dre Greenlaw spying Patrick Mahomes, you know damn well Kyle Shanahan and Steve Wilkes watch Gary Lamb Men of Hitmania or some coach on the 49ers are watching me. And you damn well should be. There's no one else to say that but me. And you're welcome, 49 faithful, because you know I'm the brains of this freaking operation here, baby. Listen to Gary Lamb, El Professor, baby. I know what to do to get you that ring number one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! And if you don't like it, you can eat your breakfast. I think the 49ers are going to have a plan. Even if Kelsey goes off, even if... Uh, Ambry Thomas is there, and they Kelsey scores a touchdown. I don't think it's going to be enough because we got too many guys, man. They need to make Patrick Mahomes miserable. They're going to contain him, but they just got the Niners should overpower defensive line on their offensive line. Niners should overpower it. Nick Bosa should be an MVP candidate, and you never know. A guy like Taj Gibson. Could be MVP because balls just seem to fly to this guy. Taj Gibson, MVP candidate. Nick Bosa, MVP candidate. Dre Greenlaw. Fred Warner could have been MVP candidate because he had a tremendous interception in the Super Bowl 2019. Ambry Thomas might be an MVP candidate. Balls might just, when you're under duress, it doesn't matter who you are. And the Niners got the guys to cover. They got the guys this year. Gibson's a turnover match. Okay. The Chiefs defense, they are good against the pass, but they don't turn the ball over much. The Niners, the Niners intercepted 22 passes. I think the Chiefs inter intercepted 10. Somewhere in these notes. Something like that. But what hurts the 49ers, let's go to the Niner offense. Let's go. Before I, before I, uh. Let 
Let's see if there's anyone else I want to highlight. Jair Brown. Watch for Jair Brown. He's a rookie safety. He might make some mistakes. Oh, well. Watch for Nick Bosa to run wild. Watch for Javon Hargrave and Eric Armstead to play the game of their life. I know Eric Armstead has the, uh, the, uh, the plantar fasciitis, but there's no tomorrow. Okay? Watch the 49ers interior to play the best game they played all fucking year. And watch for someone to get a big-ass hit on Isaiah Pacheco. Whether it's Greenlaw, Jair Brown, Warner, less likely. I hope it's not going to be my man, uh, Demo Lenore. Do you know, watch for Demo Lenore to be a star in the Super Bowl. That's a badass dude. He's a little undersized to get a hit on Pacheco, but he might. Any of those guys. I would stay away from Traverius Ward if I was Pat Mahomes because he was embarrassed. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I love Traverius Ward. I love his interviews. But I've never seen a cornerback, a position built on speed, I never seen a cornerback who, who's like who's played with like hamstring injuries, growing injuries, just to be out there. And he was uh, a couple of years ago against the Chiefs. He got embarrassed, or last year, he got embarrassed. Uh, Valdez Scantling, you know, went deep on him, but he was playing hurt, and he's fine now. But I I love this that this guy plays. I love that he's honest. Uh, one of my favorite players on the team. Not always consistent, but he's a guy, a cornerback who plays. Do injuries, and I, I respect. I really love that guy. You w- duck him, Patrick Mahomes, or you might be in trouble. He might be MVP, but I, I don't think Patrick Mahomes is going to test. Uh, I don't think he's going to test um, to various Ward. He might go after um, Tiamat Lenore, and Tiamat Lenore is a big game player. But you know who else is? Ambry Thomas. I'm saying again, Ambry Thomas has made some big plays and big games. Watch for Ambry Thomas. You might get whipped too. He's been inconsistent, but I think I'm gonna tell you why. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I hype in Ambry Thomas. And I'm gonna say it again. If you see Dre Greenlaw spying Patrick Mahomes and either Traverius Ward or Ambry Thomas guarding Travis Kelsey, you know the 49er organization is watching Gary Lamb in Batmania. Whether it's Kyle himself, John Lynch, someone, some coach is getting in there and say they're giving him my advice because no one else is saying that. What do I like about Ambry Thomas? He's a tough guy. He doesn't finish plays though. But I, but I know in a fight I trust this dude. So if he, if I believe this is just the psychology, the psychology, baby. Gary Lamb, man, if it may, it brings that to you. I'm an AMFT. I believe in a fight, in a challenge, Ambry Thomas will step up. He'll definitely be in a fight if he takes on Travis Kelsey. Kelsey will get his, but Ambry will get his. That's why I'm saying it. It may not happen. Maybe the 49ers are foolish and don't watch Gary Lamb in a bit. Mania. But if it does, you know they're watching my ass. Because I'm that lamb good. Gary Lamb in a bit. Mania. L-A-M-M. The extra M is for mmm. You're welcome. Niners are going to kick ass. They should kick ass in the trenches. Defensive line versus offensive line on the edges and now at the middle with Thune out. Let's freaking go, baby! All right. Offensive game plan. Run the fucking ball! Here's the thing, though. I can't I can't tell you the uh, how the game's going to perfectly go. Because... In all sports, head coaching is very important. Especially in football. It's going to be Andy Reid and Spagnola. Andy Reid offense, Spagnola defense versus Kyle Shanahan and Steve Wilkes. Of course, Shanahan offense, Wilkes defense. They're going to adjust. They're going to adjust. And I thought, I thought this was going to be about a chess match. That's why I was worried. I can't tell you exactly how the game's going to go. But I try, I think the 49ers got him out manned. On, go, switching the offensive side of the ball. I think the Niners could just brute force outrun their ass. And if they stack the box, the 49ers got enough. If you got to go man-to-man against Brandon Ayuk, 
You're toast. Brock Purdy is an athlete. If he's got a scramble, he can scramble. He's been doing this since high school. People don't know about Brock. He looks the same. All the same stuff he does now. They say he doesn't have arm talent. What he, he can't do it through you, but he can get that ball over the middle through guys. You know? You got guys here, but Brock can get it right here, right to me. And that's where it needs to be, Brock. All eyes on Gary Lamb. Brock can make plays scrambling. They could run first, second down. Um, one thing the Chiefs don't do is give up um, rushing touchdowns. They only give up 10, but they give, they give up. They're, they're bottom 10 in the league. The Chiefs are bottom 10 in the league um, in yards per rush. They're better against the pass, but I'll take a Yukon Sneed. And you, it may not come to that. You can get it to Tebow. All right, big stat in the game. 22 to 26 carries at least for CMC and maybe 30 touches. Targets, targets and rushes combined, I want 26 to 28 for CMC. Winning or losing. And I'm going to tell you why I predicted the 49ers would come back in the NFC Championship game. I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because we kept running even though we were down in the first half. And Christian McCaffrey had a hell of an attitude. He was pumped up. He was not going to let him quit. He would carry this team. That's why I knew they would win. A balanced, a balanced offense will win the Super Bowl for the 49ers because we got the better players. This Dooney being out is a big, big deal. But we're sticking to offense. We can just run the ball. We can run behind Trent all the time with Uchek and Kittle and Warner, our other tight end. We can do that. But back to coaching. Kyle Shanahan, you are due for a hit at your game plan. But I'm going to give Spagnola and Reed credit. They'll have a counter. I don't know how this game's going to go. Is it going to be all run? Is it going to be Brock? I'm thinking, hey, if, if, if I'm going to bet, I'm going to say uh, Christian McCaffrey's MVP. But maybe maybe, maybe uh, they, they want Brock to beat him, the Chiefs. And I think he's per perfectly capable. Short passes to Debo, we win it. If you give Debo two steps in space, he can go all the way every damn time. Same with George Kittle. And George Kittle... He's going to be a force in this game where they're uh, running. I mean, he pancaked the shit out of Asian Hutchinson. Or in the past game. He's a force. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, he's more brutal than uh, Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey has that, that basketball background where he, can, he knows how to use his body and post up. Um, like an Antonio Gates or uh, Tony Gonzalez. Those basketball playing tight ends are a force. They know how to use their body. There should be more big body basketball players because it's uh, you can do some things. But you know, another story for another time. But yeah, you got that feel, that basketball feel where you know how to. But home, you got a quarterback who knows how to, how to throw a guy open. That, that's where Kelsey's better. Um, but it comes with brute force and speed. It's it's uh, it's Kittle for sure, and Kittle's hella clutch. Straight up, he's hella clutch. He's going to deliver. He's going to deliver. This is it. You talk about Tebow. You talk about Ayuk, who's going to block. I like other blocking tight end, Warner. But they're going to play the game they need to play. This is why the 49ers are going to win. Listen up. Listen up. This is why the 49ers are going to win. Offensively, they are going to play the game they need to win. Brandon Ayuk should be a 12-target guy every game. But if he gets five, he'll catch five. But this might be the 12-target game. If you think you're going to stack the box and guard Brandon Ayuk number one receiver, one-on-one, -on -one, it ain't going to happen, baby. I'm going to say it again. If you're going to think you're going to stack the box against the 49 run game, Debo, against CMC, Ushek, and, uh, you know, 
Williams. I'm saying it again. All the guys. You're gonna you're gonna stop CMC and Debo by stacking the box. You're gonna leave. Brandon Ayuk one on one. I don't care if it's with with Sneed. I trust Brandon Ayuk to have a big ass game. I'm telling you. And you're gonna leave yourself open. You're gonna leave yourself open lanes for the quarterback Glock Purdy to run on you, and he can and he will. This is the time to do it. This is not the time to take sacks. This is not the time to uh, you know go down to. Check every read in Kyle's offense. One, two, three, go. Use Wisnowski, the kicker. Make Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to say it again. If it's not there, don't treat the Chiefs like a juggernaut. They don't have Tyreek Hill anymore. Make them drive all the way down the damn field. Use Mitch Wisnowski, the punter, for an eighth there on third down. But run, Brock! But they're stacking the box, and you got a lane run. You're quick. Brock Purdy is quick. He's athletic. What he needed to do is what all young quarterbacks need to do is learn how to play in the pocket. He's be- he's so damn good in the pocket, people don't even know he's athletic. This guy is a combination, if you more of Drew Brees and Russell Wilson. I'm saying it right now. I called this guy um, having prime Jeff Garcia numbers. That's exactly what he had this year. This guy's a good player. He is strong. He's the 225 pounder, man. He's stout. But the reason why the 49ers win, they're all going to play the game they need to play. Any of these guys can get MVP. The one guy who needs to touch the ball, 22 carries, that CMC, he has to do that. That's the one thing that needs to happen regardless, no matter what. 22 to 26 carries. I'm not talking targets and carries. Carries. Run the damn ball. Hey, 5 to 10 targets. Fine with me. You check. Three looks. A carry. Two targets. You need those running backs involved. Got to touch that ball. But when it comes to Debo, Kittle, and Ayuk, I've never seen a receiving core so unselfish. And you know what I gotta say? Debo, you gotta block this damn game, bro. Block. If you block, if you would have blocked for Brock last week, we'd have had a touchdown. Debo, you gotta block. It's a block party, baby. Debo needs to block, because I you can kittle are putting your ass to shame, bro. Bang bang, not a gang. I called you out, Debo. I love you, man. I wouldn't be helping you if I wasn't telling you the truth. But you can get Debo the ball short. You can get him long. It's going to be perfectly fine. And I don't think... you got to be strong up the middle with your linebackers to beat the 49ers. I don't... The Chiefs are good, but the Niners have seen better. Brock likes that pass. He, lo- he loves the pass. Whoever... He just wants to get... Woo! You're all here. He likes to go... Woo! And somehow he does it. That's how we get beat because the linebacker could jump high and... You know, make a play or the safety. I don't I don't know if um I'm not saying bad, but we've seen better. I'm not sweating this baby. And yeah, we got good corners, but we Brock Brock's actually statistically the best uh guy when it comes to going down the sidelines, but we want to win over the middle. We want to beat the linebackers. You know, why not? Let's see MC and uh you know, Debo over the middle and Kittle over the middle. Why not have a big day? Why not? So if we had to, um, you know, put a gun to my head, I'd say CMC is the MVP. But it could be anybody because if you leave, if you're gonna, if you're gonna intentionally stop the run game, um, and one on one with Ayuk, you're gonna get whooped. I trust Ayuk to beat anybody. Um, Zay Flowers had a tremendous game against uh, the Chiefs. In the AFC Championship game, uh, he, you know he lost his head. I don't think Ayuk's I a little salty, so I don't know. I don't think he'll lose his head, but I don't think he'll go with Zay Flowers. I think he'll learn that lesson. So I'm really not sweating it, but it's really Kyle. Just run, be the 49ers, man. 
I don't know how the game's going to go. I think there's going to be adjustments. Both teams can adjust well. Sometimes the Fortnite is just a little bit slower. But even if it goes bad, which the script should go well, let's win the damn script. Let's make some easy passes, easy touchdowns, some Denver Bronco 49er touchdowns. Remember, the Denver Broncos were the number one defense when the Niners whipped their ass in the 89-90 season, 55-10. to And I'm saying this is, this is what's going to happen again. We're going to whoop their ass. Watch for the offensive player to deliver like they always do. The big names always deliver. Yushek always delivers. Trent Williams always delivers. Brock Purdy always delivers. CMC always delivers. Ayuk, Debo, Kittle always delivers. You know, if there's a question mark, it's Brock. But Brock... Every day he's getting better. Brock, Brock may be the guy. He, look, he's 24 years old. He might play like a 24-year-old in the Super Bowl. Who knows? And that might be the strategy you want to have. If you're, if you're uh, Steve Spagnola, you're like, okay, you know what? I know CMC can beat me because he's whipped everyone's ass every... He gets a touchdown every damn game, like 23? It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. 23 times the hell out of town. Right? He's uh, not even 23 games. But if you make it easy for Brock, if you make the decisions easy for Brock, he's going to beat you. Do they, ha do they have? Okay. Chris Jones. Okay, the formula beat, to beat the 49ers, you've got to be strong over the middle. You've got to rush up the middle and on the outside. Do they have the outside push, pass rush to handle Brock? I don't know. Is Bolton or Roquan Swift? I don't know. Do they have a Miles Garrett and an interior pass rush of the uh, of the Browns? I don't know. I, I don't know. They don't. They they're good. Top really good defense. Chiefs have a really good defense, but it's just I don't think the matchup works for them. What they have good, we don't want to do anyway. We don't even want to. Okay, you got good corners. That's great. But we, are you good enough to beat you one-on-one? -on -one? And we, we want to throw over the middle. That's what we want to do. So we'll see. We'll see a beatdown. Okay. But here's, here's where we can get our asses whipped right here. Chris Jones is a fantastic player. Um, defensive tackle for the Chiefs. All right. But Derek, Derek Naughty's out. I mean, he's on an IR that week. So that just kind of leaves only him. I, Neil Farrell, I, I'm not trying to put you down, brother, but let's talk in, um, in general terms. All right. Chris Jones is a beast. Um, the reason why I say Jake Brendel, right? 49ers have Aaron Banks at right guard and um, John Feliciano at, at uh, no. Aaron Banks at left guard, John Feliciano at right guard, taking over for Spencer Burford, okay? Aaron Banks is a big-ass dude. He's right next to Trey Williams. John Feliciano, he looks like a mean-ass tough dude, but then you got Jake Brendel, not a bad player. Pro Bowl alternate two years in a row, but he's always getting knocked on his ass. Chris Jones, 6'6", 310. Brendel's about 299. The guy, the guy you want to take on is Brendel, of all the guys. And, and, and uh, Colton McKivitz, he's been getting better and better. Better and better, our right tackle. It used to be the, the Niners' right side of the line was not that good. It, it really was two years ago. Trent Williams... And a bunch of guys who hadn't played anymore. You got to realize, last year, it was Trent Williams, all world, maybe the best left tackle anywhere, ever. And he scares the shit out of people. Silverback, right? First year starter, Aaron Banks. First year starter, Drake Brendel at center. First year starter, Spencer Burford at right guard. First year starter, right tackle, Colton McKivitz. It was, uh, yeah. 
It wasn't McKivitz. It was um, our boy. I'm forgetting his name. He's gone now. But now you got a couple. You got second year starter um, Aaron Banks at left guard. So he's better now, all right? Jake Brendel better now. Feliciano in for Burford. Burford's still a, a specimen, but Feliciano, veteran, tough guy. And then McKivitz, hey, look at he had some rough times because it, if you have any brains, you're not going to line up your best pass rusher against Trent Williams. You're going to go against McKivitz. And McKivitz, sometimes he's got beat, but damn it, he's been tough. He's a tough guy. I like Cole McKivitz a badass. So my point is, if you're going to pick a fight with somebody, you're going to pick on Brendel because he's a good player, but sometimes he gets knocked on his can it's too many times. And Brendel, I love you, man. It's time to fight, baby. Watch to see if Jake Brendel can keep from getting knocked on his ass again. I'm calling you out, Jake. Jake, play like a snake, baby. Don't let him tread on you, Jake. I'm calling you out, man. You are a good player. You can get beat by Chris Jones because um, what they do with Chris Jones, the Chiefs, they, they'll put him in the best matchup. They're not stupid. Like, okay, what the Chiefs do well, why they're back, especially on offense, is they play schoolyard ball. Andy Reid's like, F the offense. We're just going to give it to the good players. We're going to give it to Rasheed Rice. Uh, Patrick Mahomes obviously always has the ball, but and Kelsey. Rasheed Rice, Kelsey, and Pacheco. That's what they're doing. Well, on defense, similar. They're going to set up Chris Jones with the best matchup. The best matchup for me. If I want to pick a fight with any of the uh, linemen on the 49ers, it's going to be Brendel. Even though you're a good player, you might get physically dominated. Do not let it happen to you. You can get beat. Don't get punked out, Jake. I'm begging you, man. Because that's the only way we're going to lose the Super Bowl. Because if, if Brock is not going to get pass rushed, It's on, baby. Eight in the box. Brock's going to find the right guy. Brock is going to find the right guy. That's what, he's gonna, that's what he does. He's going to find the right guy. The way the 49ers lose is they get whooped on the line. Brock has no time, and he's got to make a decision before he's ready. And usually it's because someone's in his face. Or they're batting the ball down. But if Noah's in his face, the score's going to go to outer space, baby. And I'm talking blowout city in the Super Bowl. Just like the 49ers always should do. And if for some reason it doesn't happen, or some reason Kyle tries to not run the ball, I trust CMC and Brock Purdy. It's either Brock Purdy bring us back with Ayuk, Kittle, Debo, CMC, Kittle. I said Kittle again, but it might be a big Kittle game. Use check. Juwan Jennings. We still got Juwan. We talked about Juwan Jennings. Juwan Jennings is going to be money. Another guy that always delivers. Sorry, Juwan. And now he's going to whip ass. If Kyle Shanahan has a good game plan and it works early, we're going to kick ass the rest of the game because we can physically dominate. That's what I'm calling, man. I'm calling like I see it, because I don't think I don't think the uh, the offensive line of the Chiefs can hold up. They don't got enough weapons to beat us, uh, you know, in one on one matchups. And we probably got we probably got some. We if we don't have something for Kelsey now, we you know we don't deserve to win the fucking game. Bottom line, let's go. I think the Niner offense is ready for this defense. They they don't have the things that bother us. Um, if Chris Jones, we can settle him down, find a plan for Chris Jones, we're going to be okay. That's a, if he game wrecks, that's the only, that's the only problem we're going to have. We got to stop Chris Jones. If uh, Brendel, you know, keeps him from being a game wrecker, we're going to be all right. It's on you, Jake. It's on you, brother, because you're the one. You're the one I would go after. Show why you're a pro alternate. Show why... You're a man, brother. If Jake Brendel can shut down, if I see, watch for Chris Jones. Watch to see if I'm right. That's what I would do. 
They may, no, people don't always do the right thing, which, which is what I say. Take care of um, Chris Jones. Um, take care of, uh, put, have Chris Jones attack. Brendel, that would be what I would attack. But watch for that match if it happens. Chris Jones over center Jake Brendel. And watch for the Chiefs to try to um, exploit Brendel. Not as, you know, because he doesn't, doesn't play good football. Because sometimes he gets overpowered and overwhelmed. And Chris Jones is the guy that can overwhelm you. We'll see. All right. What else I want to talk about? Watch for Tashawn Gibson. No one ever talks about that guy. Safety of the 49ers. If the Niners do really get this pass rush, he might be a guy who gets an MVP. The, he, the ball always seems to go his way. Big time strip um, of running back Gibson. What's his name now? Gibbs for the, for the Detroit Lions. That's what happens when you lose. People forget you. Lions and 49ers. CMC, 22 to 26 carries. Watch for that. Watch. I want to see five rushes for Debo. That's what I want to see. Watch for Kyle to have a good game plan, but we don't know stupid trick. Don't overdo it. Don't get too fancy, man. Just call the plays. Call 49 offense. We're going to be okay. We should physically dominate in this game on both sides of the trench. I don't say in the trenches. Um... We're on both sides of the ball because our skilled players uh, are going to make plays, and Brock can move enough to overcome some of the some of the youth and experience of the um, of the of the offensive line. I, I think that John Feliciano has been fantastic, um, but watch to see how we handle Chris Jones because if we can handle that, I think the rest of our job is going to be pretty easy, straight up on offense. Can we handle Chris Jones if we can? Whew. You know, it's up to Brock to make to make some plays. If Brock, watch for this. If the Chiefs decide that they're going to go all out and stop the run, see how Brock handles it. If Brock is handling it early, you know, um, beating blitzes, um, maybe, you know, making plays with his legs and the Niners are up early. If Brock looks good early, watch for the Niners to kick ass. That's just the bottom line. And let's see if Kyle can keep the lead. And I just, you know, I, I do have a fear. Not a fear, but... um. In the past, that Kyle's gone away from the run, um, didn't run Mostert in the Super Bowl, didn't run Debo in the second half, or get him the ball in the second half in the Super Bowl in 2019, or was 2020 it took place. But I think CMC's not going to put up with that shit, and, and Debo's a few years in. Let's go. Debo doesn't ask for the ball much, but CMC does. God bless you, CMC. That's why we're going to win. And watch, watch for Steve Wilkes to have a good strategy against Patrick Mahomes. I think we're built for this. Let's go. But I, I think, uh, I think Thune being out guard for the uh, the Chiefs. That's gonna that takes away a lot of their big time strength. I'm talking about the Chiefs on the line. All right. Yeah, watch for Nick Bosa to run wild. Niners are going to expose his team. Inside and outside on the transit defensive line. All right. And just a little bit more of funny stories are coming out. CMC, the CMC trade. A lot, of, a lot of stories about the 49ers, but I, I think this is pertinent to the game. If you're worried that Kyle Shanahan will get a big lead and not run... I think the story that Kyle Shanahan was the last guy on board um, because of giving up too much for CMC, I think that's going to fuel CMC to say, give me the damn ball if we're up or down. If there was any hesitation for CMC to demand the ball, which I, need, I think he needs 22 to 26 carries in the Super Bowl at least, maybe 30, I don't even care. CMC, will, he's the one guy who demands the ball and we need him to to win this game. Up or down, we need to keep down running. We need a balanced offense. Watch for balanced pass rush numbers for the 49ers. If the 49ers and the Chiefs have about equal number of plays, like 70 plays offense, 70 plays offense for the Chiefs, equal number of snaps on offense, the Niners will run away with the game. The only way the Niners lose it is if they have turnovers, and the Chiefs just have way, way more snaps. 
That's what I see. All right. Another interesting story. Bill Vinovich, referee. Notorious for the call um, that went against the Saints uh, that kept them from the Super Bowl. He is in there. The first thing Niner fans think about is uh, no holding calls when Nick Bosa gets held. But this may be for the 49ers. You know, let's just talk about conspiracy theories. Because you know what? The Super Bowl is Hollywood, baby. Super Bowl has been Hollywood before we go out here. I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard hardly anything about Taylor Swift. You know, I, I haven't heard anything. I, and you know what? I'm a Swifty. I, li I like Sw Swifty. I like, you know, like a lot of her songs. I got a blank space, baby. And I'll write your name. But are we going to write San Francisco 49ers on a Lombardi trophy for the sixth time? It might be. It might be. But here's my conspiracy. All the hype has been on the 49ers. We got Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey. And all, all the hype is 49ers. It's the Brock story. If there, is, if there is a script, it's for the Niners. That's what I'm seeing. You know, um, I don't want to go into much to uh, Patrick Mahomes' father. But the Chiefs have been around a long time. They seem very matter-of-fact about the Super Bowl. I think they watch the 49ers film, and they think they know that the Niners are going to kick their ass. They know that Brock Purdy is more than a game manager. He makes plays. They know that they, they're going to have to play perfect football to beat the 49ers, and Patrick Mahomes is going to have to have a hell of an effort. And if they start dropping balls early, if the Niners get big hits early, it's going to be Clayton's for the Chiefs. But back to my conspiracy, and I don't know if I believe it, but there's, it's been all about the Brock Purdy story, stories about, you know, when they knew, when the 49ers knew that Brock was good, like early, early in uh, training camp, his rookie year, when they still had Jimmy and Trey, the CMC trade, everyone was for it. Jed York was for it. So was John Lynch, but uh, Kyle Shanahan, eh, I don't know. It's a lot to give up for a running back. It's been all 49. And one thing I got to say about both of these teams, no stupid shit. No trouble. You're going to get in there and be, fi be violent between the lines, between the chalk. I love it. None of this baloney. But, you know, less Taylor Swift than ever before. She's flying from Japan to the Super Bowl. That should be a big story. We should, we should hear more about Taylor. We haven't heard a lot. Maybe it's because that uh, Kyle Yushek's wife, Kristen Yushek, makes those cool jackets out of the jerseys. I like that. It's a good story. Kristen Yushek and Kyle Yushek versus Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. I made a poll. Obviously, for our biased audience. But uh, Kyle... And Christian win. That Super Bowl hype. But all the Super Bowl hypes on the 49ers. Does the NFL want to make the Brock Purdy movie? Is that why we got Bill Vavinovich there? I guess, he, I guess he grades out, you know, the highest referee. That's why he's there. I don't know. But it's the Super Bowl. And I'm not against... All the loop line, baby! It's a game. It's supposed to be fun. It's showbiz, baby! You got the showbiz kid right here. You got knowledge. You got brains. You got looks. You got charisma. You got humility. Very humble man. And that's it! The last what to watch for of the year! For Panda who's hiding! For all the Gary Lamb men have been maniacs. For all the 49 faithful. I will see you after the Super Bowl, baby. God bless you. Keep it real. Keep it clean. Bang, bang, not a game, baby. Woo! Super Bowl. We're getting number six, baby. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang.